for the longest time, we all thought the fabricated story from George Lutz was a hoax, and most the whole people, Amityville horror was all Hollywood. Most people can't handle it, JBN. But now we're hearing reports that his stepson, Christopher Lutz, who's in his early 40s now, is talking about how George Lutz, the, his stepdad, was dabbling in the occult. And conjuring up spirits. Just bottom line is you can give up your soul for supernatural powers and for financial gain in this life, but you'll burn for it in the next for eternity. Or, ga or other games. They really can't handle this. If you want to leave comments refuting what we're saying, um... Then go to freaking the graveyard on Halloween night and call it evil spirits. And if you want to leave a stupid comment saying this isn't if real... If you really want to tempt the occult, with those The powers. occult world. All right, so you got the Satanist church. We don't witchcraft. recommend it. Church of Scientology, it, voodoo, black magic, these things are all real. Harry Houdini was involved in the occult. Hitler was. Why do you think they're, you know, they get their power from the devil himself? Black Pope. The Black Pope. You don't know shit about the Black Pope. So, let's go over the... No, so it was covered up in the media. That's why we never heard about it. Because they control the media and they don't want nobody to know about the dark side. They don't want you looking into the dark side of the occult. So they didn't even talk so about it. So they keep everyone in the Matrix just thinking it's think, all fantasy. Yeah, or they like, just make it seem like he was a psycho. witchcraft is all brooms. Oh yeah, and, and black cats. Yeah, they want to make it seem like it was just a lone gunman psycho. That's what they always do. But yeah, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, first off, our theory, we did a whole review on the Amityville Horror. I'm so obsessed with the real life story and the movies that followed. And the real battle that's going on between good versus evil. In 1974... Evil. The first family, because remember, a guy murdered, who was 23, murdered his whole family in that house, Ronald DeFeo. He claims he was high on heroin and heard voices. Who knows? He might have sorcery. been doing a... He might have been doing sorcery where they do drugs and they talk to spirits. Exactly. And but no, that just caused the, the hailstorm of, you know, bad, of bad stuff to happen for the Lutzes. Because, you know, they showed up and then all those dead, fresh spirits were right there after that, you know. Yeah, he was no, it was perfect call. time. I don't think George Lutz, like, moved his family there just to, like, for the purpose of having this in mind that they could eventually write a book about it. He was getting into waters way out of his territory. I think he was doing these, the, all these uh, rituals by himself, basically. He wasn't in an occult. Hold up, He was on. obviously specify, just got into it just to conjure up demons. We got to specify for the idiots out there that don't know the definition of a cult. Some people have to do it to Some people alive. call it secret you know, or hidden. That's the definition. Or it could be of pertaining to magic, astrology, or any system. Due to super, that involves supernatural powers. Or using the knowledge or secret of yeah, supernatural powers or agencies. Or it could be it's not like beyond the range shooting of, out of your hands. It's or more beyond like, the range of ordinary knowledge or understanding mysteries. Or the it's more like good karma. Or secret disclosed. No, it's more like devil magic. <laughs> no, or the secrets disclosed only to to the committed and only to the initiated, like the black pope. But no, yeah, it's powers more like you can talk to spirits, you can conjure them up, you can read people's minds, blah blah blah. But we're not gonna get into that because that's that's too deep. People can't handle it. So anyway, our original theory is that Ronald DeFeo was probably a psycho. He probably wasn't involved in any seance. That was probably just, he was just a horrible plea of incident. He was just influenced by a, by a demon. Not like, you know, one-on-one. I don't on think one. he was. I think he was just well, tied the devil's heroin always, and just like had a shotgun and was well, just yeah, like, but the oh. Devil's always whispering he just did it to ear. feel his buzz. To well, the feel devil's his always whispering in ears, so that's what probably Ronald was. DeFeo is still alive. And so anyway, George Lutz moves... In with Kathy, Kathy Lutz into the house with on his, Amityville with, Ocean with 114. His occult, with his occult Bible, thinking it's all good. 114 Ocean Avenue, Long Island. And obviously, that's when they heard about the spirits. And it was a perfect and storm like, of them all coming and together. And he was like, oh, no way, let me conjure them up. <laughs> and there's a little talked about after they moved out, they talked about how the spirits followed them. And the Christopher Lutz, I would, recommend you look up the interview it can be found on youtube and um of him talking about how that's what he was doing and he and he did a demonstration of the uh prayer seance of asking the demons to enter your body and that's what they're there to do to lie they're the best liars because they come from the devil himself life is all about we're just pawns in a big game it's all about it's a sick world we're all just pawns
It's this about, quote from JBM. It's about good versus evil. That's it. Yeah, our people can't handle it, though. It's all of our congressmen and women at Bohemian Grove worshiping The an end's owl. already been written, so everything that happens in between is just the Hold beginning up, of the chess some, match. And who remembers what happens Hold in up, the I'm going to name some real-life occults that run in politics and banking. What about, what about Skull and Bones, the Brotherhood of the Bell, Knights of Columbus, Knights of Malta? Knights Templar. George huh? Bush, he's burned. It's fi- it's he's, all Luciferian at the top, like the Freemasons at the top, top inner circle. Bush has had a secrecy. buzz going since the early 70s. Oh, yeah, he's got infinite coke. And other powers. And de- demonic him. powers. Because, yeah, because you give your soul for riches and blah, 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 and power in this world. And this world. isn't even a political thing. It's more it's like, just like the good devil has infiltrated evil. everything. And oh, it's, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're just plotting. It's just a big chess game. They sit on each end of the earth and move the pieces until the end and it's like what side do you want you can you can pick you choose and the devil lies to you and gives you the powers it's all for a cl- to claim your soul and for enslavement or freedom of humanity that's the criteria He'll grant for souls, you powers on this earth and for freedom of or not freedom of it's humanity. like the old s- story of sell your soul to the devil get three wishes that's on. basically how it is, but that's just a dramatized version of it. But who, you don't really know unless you've actually done it. We don't have the experience of it. There's no way okay. I'm going to conjure okay, up any yeah. demons. So, so, to, uh, yeah, so all you people go out there on Halloween, on Devil's Night. I don't recommend it, but damn. And, and get a Ouija board. I wouldn't do it. Get a pentagram and turn it sideways. Make sure you bring a Bible in your car. Uh, if you're going to go and do it. Uh, you could feel it right now, the... The evil spirits. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's the best liar. He's oh, yeah. already infiltrated. The churches, the Catholic Church, everything. everything. Catholic Church Politics, was built banking, on everything. blood money. That's one big giant cult. Dude, they can't handle it. They can't handle All it. All right, I won't, I won't touch on that. No. All right. So, Not that bad. Uh, yeah, so he was involved in the occult. Surprise! <laughs> no, it all makes more sense now because they insane. portray him as a victim in the like a heroine, like he was just uh, possessed for a few months. And also, there's rumors about the Indian burial ground that might have had a little bit of poltergeist activity added just because there's more spirits trapped. But uh, bottom line is spirits it's all, it's in all between Luci- both worlds. It's all Luciferian at the top. And um. Remember, there's the mediums. Some people can't handle mediums. Some mediums can manage. Like some people, you know how like there's people that can like you know walk through a house like on the ghost channel, and they're like, oh, I feel. There was a I medium named Ethel Myers. I think her name was that they brought in the late '70s to the Amityville house, and she immediately sensed an Indian chief present in there. That was the spirit that she sensed. Yeah, and then they had the no. Then they had the. Um, yeah, but she could have been full of shit. Dimension is talking about. They've been in production. It was supposed to be released. Amityville, the lost tapes. It was supposed to be like the only good found footage film ever to come out. That I'm looking of forward like all to. All the news footage or of. No, I'm saying like it's going to be based on the night of the news. There was a crew that went there like the night of 1975 or something, spent a night in the Amityville house, and they snapped a picture of that little boy, and they were like, there's no little boy with us, and they claim it's a ghost. What, like the grudge little boy? Shit's whack. But, uh, yeah, like, what the hell? They just did it for financial gain. So, you know, that's what his intentions were, to conjure up... Actually, he was probably just playing with it, and then once it fucked with them... He it obviously fully, fully saw the opportunity. Over. It fully took him over. No, it was influencing him, and he saw the opportunity, and he got up with that uh, lawyer, Mark Weber, or whatever his name is. I do an in-depth review on Amityville, too. Check that out. Um, talk more about that case. And, yeah, they then obviously it was fabricated in the Jay Anson novel onto an even larger story. They even brought a priest in to bless the house. After it all. Actually, I think they said they did that right when they got there. They said they both needed, the Lutzes, both the Lutzes needed a uh, exorcism. Because oh, yeah, that's an important thing. Because they both influenced. That's, that's all true. Is if both the needed. spirits followed them throughout this light, this guy's life, and I don't know about the other kids that were in there. The only way to get rid of them was through the blood of Jesus Christ. So they eventually had an exorcism for both of them. And then that guy talked about becoming a pastor because it's tough. Most of his life, obviously, because he found out that demons were real. 
And he found out the power of the dark side, and he was like, holy shit, I gotta well, go, I gotta go to the good side. What are haters gonna say on this video? They're gonna um, jump to conclusions of, like, Well, something. people who are spiritually weak, they can't handle it, JBM. They just can't handle it. They go through life thinking, oh, is God real? Oh, is he They're in the real? Matrix that goes without saying. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. The Matrix. Probably don't even know about the Jesuits. It all makes sense. George Lutz involved in the occult. It, it, it's like, surprise. I think, um... I'm going to end this. If I have anything else to say, I'll try and write it in annotations. Well, villain right News. This was Elman. JB. Go to Villain Radio. Mr. Creep Show 9. Don't Check out our horror slasher reviews. Don't sell your soul. Oh, yeah. I highly don't recommend you going out to the... Oh, yeah. Disclaimer. Don't demons. sell your soul. Dude, you'll get possessed for, like, years, and you don't want to end like up the like the or... last exorcism or some shit. Exactly. You're not going to make money off of it, trust me, because of the... Because uh, it will consume your ass. That's not funny or true. But actually it is true what am I saying. But anyway, this is JBM and Elbit.